गुड मॉर्निंग वंदे मातरम वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू हैप्पी एक्समास मेरी एक्समास द टॉपिक टू बी डिस्कस्ड राइट नाउ इज ऑन ए ग्रेट सैक्रिफाइस इन द ह्यूमन हिस्ट्री ए ग्रेट सैक्रिफाइस इन द ह्यूमन हिस्ट्री दैट इज द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इट इज ए ग्रेट डे फॉर यू फॉर अस इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इट इज ए ग्रेट डे एक्समास द डे ऑन व्हिच जेसस वाज क्रूसिफाइड जेसस द ग्रेट वाज क्रूसिफाइड ऑन दिस डे आई डोंट नो हाउ कैन आई एक्सप्लेन आई एम नॉट कोइंग आई एम नॉट कंसंट्रेटिंग अपॉन व्हाट इज द रीजन व्हाई बिकॉज़ द द देन fundamentalists could not be able to understand his teachings they tried to get rid of his greatness they could not see the greatness who is the great jesus was bringing with him from the as his emanation so he was compelled to do so. they were compelled to do so because uh, they felt they are name and the fame are at stake traditionally they 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 just respected the traditionality they could not be able to catch hold of the grace the light the flavor the flame that uh, the then jesus christ jesus was actually harboring so here we are going to have a discussion because many ways we have discussed uh, the life of jesus jesus and uh, the story of the crucifixion now itself it is time for us to discuss with <laughs> this is the great story this is the great event this is a great day and this is also a great sacrifice in the human history also that's what we have to take care we must listen now itself we are going to have a little and brief discussion on how sri aurobindo has uh, reflected his uh, thoughts on christ jesus and uh, his arrival his emanation about the history uh, in, in the history of the mankind that's what i want to quote for you in a very crystal clear way really as uh, thinking i think uh, today you will be getting some um, some discussions in um, uh, three languages at least odia english and hindi so i want to quote uh, everything um, uh, in in little bit in a very um, uh, very clear manner how which will be very much um, without any confusion many so at least people can be able to in a very understandable way so we let us try um, let us take some aphorisms from sri aurobindo which has been um, um, quoted by sri aurobindo on jesus specially it is aphorism we will start from aphorism number 36 men are still in love with grief starts sri aurobindo starts men are still in love with grief when they see one who is too i for them for grief and or joy normally people are, are uh, in love with ancient griefs when they feel someone who is far too high for grief or joy they curse him and cry o thou insensible o thou insensible therefore christ still hangs in the cross in jerusalem here in the conclusion that's why because feel they are far 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 ahead above and they feel him them insensible and they cry o thou insensible then uh, for that actually christ is still hanging on the cross in jerusalem next sri aurobindo quotes beautifully men are in love with sin initially sri aurobindo quoted still in love with grief here men are still men are in love with sin when they see one who is too high for to vice or virtue both vice and virtue who are 
Who high for vice and virtue, they curse him and cry, O thou breakest our on on bonds, breaks breaker of bonds, thou wicked and immortal one. Therefore, Sri Krishna did not live as yet in Vrindavan. People are so sensible when they see still some uh, they are in ignorance they are in grief who feel they are above grief and uh, lying in joy they say oh thou insensible in the next uh, aphorism steward in the courts when they find people people are in love with sin they when they find someone too high for bhai or vice or virtue they cry they cross to him or cry oh thou baker of bonds thou wicked and immortal one Therefore, Krishna is uh, not living as yet in Vrindavan. The next one, next one is very interesting also. We have seen uh, here also, um, we have seen something great. See here in the course beautifully. That the four great events in the history of the world, see here in the course, four great, great events are in the history of the world. That is, number one, the siege of Troy. Second, the life and the crucifixion of Christ. Three, the exile of Krishna in Vrindavan. And the number four, the Kalaleki with Arjun on the great field of Kurukhetra that Gita was written. Then I will tell you, I will quote it again. Number one is the siege of Troy. Number two, life and the crucifixion of Christ. Number three, Exile of Krishna in Vrindavan and finally number four, the Kalaki with Arjun on field of uh, Kurukhetra, Vishwarupa Darshan and all. What is the outcome of these four great events? The siege of Troy created Halas, Halas. The exile of in Vrindavan created devotional religion. For those who are initially only meditation and worship, it changed to devotional uh, religion. Number three. Christ from his cross humanized Europe, humanized Europe, and uh, the finally the Kaleki of uh, in at Kurukhetra will at liberate humanity, at liberate humanity. So these great four events are in the history of the world. That has we have already seen, and the uh, Sri Aurobindo finally quotes eight. It is said that none of these four events ever happened. People criticize, they don't believe. And another way, Sri Aurobindo also tries to signify the character of this race at large, human at, humanity at large. Strange, the Germans have disapproved, disproved the existence of Christ. Christ. They have disproved. Yet, his crucifixion, real crucifixion remains still a greater historic fact than the death of Caesar. That is what we have seen. Caesar, it is significant if you in the history of the Europe, but still the crucifixion still is remembered in the golden, in the glow, immortal lines in the history of the, uh, you know, um, Europe. So for next we are going ahead, uh, we are little bit um, first moving forward, how Sri Aurobindo has uh, explained that a great event uh, regarding, you know, regarding this um, uh, great event, so called crucifixion, and uh, for who is, really we are celebrating this great day as uh, Badodin Xmas, uh, Christmas like this. And Sri Aurobindo quotes beautifully here, to observe the law we have imposed in ourselves rather than the law of others is what is meant for liberty in the unregenerate um, conditions. That is what is required, we have seen. And here, see here in the quotes, the double law of sin and the virtue, sin and the virtue, the double law of sin and virtue is imposed on us because we have not that ideal of life and knowledge within which he guides the soul spontaneously and infallibly to the self-fulfillment. Two things are quoted, virtue and uh, sin. The, these are the double, role, double law imposed on us 
ल डुअल ल डबल ल सीन एंड भर्च्यू इम्पोज ऑन अस बिकॉज वी हैव नॉट दैट आइडियल लाइफ एंड नॉलेज वी डोंट हैव आइडियल लाइफ एंड नॉलेज फॉर हुईज फॉर हुईज द डबल ल ऑफ सीन एंड भर्च्यू आर इम्पोज अपन अस विद इन हुईज गाइड्स द सोल स्पोन्टेनियसली एंड इनफलिबली टू इज द सेल्फफुल मूवमेंट देन सी ओर इन द क्लोरीफाइज द ल ऑफ सीन एंड भर्च्यू law of sin and virtue the dual law suggests for us when the son of god shines upon the soul in truth and love these law dual law law of sin and virtue suggests no effect after later for us when the son of god the son of god shines upon the soul in truth and love with its unveiled splendor and then loses um, splendorous and loses its uh, replaced by christ or shastra by the veda then this is the scenario we can find this imposition of double law and they have to they sees with when the son of god shines upon the soul in truth and love with the unveiled splendor so these are the things we are concentrating upon then we are going forward a little bit ahead very interestingly the cross about the cross the cross in yoga sri aurobindo course is a symbol of soul and nature in they are strong and perfect union crucifixion cross we see the cross in yoga symbol of soul and nature in the strong and perfect union but because of our fall because of our fall into the impurities of ignorance we have fallen to the impurities of the ignorance it has become the shape, the symbol of suffering and the purification that is what has happened then sri aurobind goes forward little bit ahead we have seen the difference between the medieval european christianity and modern knowledge what is the difference there is absolutely no no change in their fundamentally their eyesight here in the course medieval christianity said the race man thou art the earthly thou uh, art in thy earthly life something life like an evil thing a worm before the god evil thing and worm before the god renounce thy egoism live for a future state and submit thyself to the god and the priest you are nothing you have to surrender that is what your life that is your ambition and the simultaneously the result were not um, over good for humanity and then simultaneously see in the compares with the modern knowledge says the race man thou what ephemeral animal and no more um, no more to nature than the ant and earthworm they are itself thing that uh, you know they are worm before god and evil thing here also it is like ant and earthworm in transitory in a transitory speck only in the universe nothing more transitory connecting link live for the state and submit thyself to the um, ant like submit thyself ant like to the transformed administrator and the scientific expert they are itself in the religious bent you have to sacrifice to the god and to the priest here also you have to sacrifice to the administrator and the scientific expert that is what the god spell succeed in nothing better in no way that is what has happened anyway we are going for a little bit towards savitri sri aurobind has uh, categorically explained uh, the uh, crown the, the, the what is what they are the cross they are payment for the crown they gave they have given us the crown but instead they have been payment as per their payment they have received the, the uh, cross because these people they are unable to um, judge them even some people you the great men he who would save the suffering world must share its pain they are suffering he who would save the world must share its pain people who will live for themselves lives bare and calm but the savior must come through the come uh, must enter the darkest night to bring there the light it is their cause for there they have come taken birth even the emanations of the supreme they have come and the steer in the comes court scores here the cross they are payment for the crown they gave even about the crucifixion steer in the has quoted her passion flower of love and the doom say gave this passion flower 
In other ways, you have seen known this is silence flower. That the pistil is there inside in the middle, and uh, on the you, you have seen the entirely at the periphery. You can find the petals you will be finding. And uh, Sthira Bindu quotes about the mother's arrival here. She came to transform the world, like um, Jesus. She came to transform the world and make it fit for to receive the high light and, and, and power. In another way also Sri Aurobindo has quoted, Sri Aurobindo came to, sorry, Jesus came to purify, not to fulfill. Jesus came to purify, not to fulfill. Here also Savitri came to make it fit for to receive the higher light and power. But in order to transform this world, one must come upon earth, this accept it. One must come upon the earth, accept it, and they accept it at the same time, its insincerity, weakness, and incapacity to live the higher consciousness. This is what gives the impression, strong impression was that it has been for ages and centuries. It has been continuing. She is coming to save, she, has, she came to save this suffering world. But thing is that people want to to stay as usual in the normal state of mind. Again, Mother quotes on Sri Aurobindo, When Christ came upon the earth, when Christ came upon the earth, he brought the message of brotherhood, love and the peace. Brotherhood, love and the peace. But he had to die in pain. That is the irony. Brought the message of brotherhood, love and the peace. Instead, he had to die in pain on cross so that the message might be heard for men cherish suffering and hatred and want their god to suffer with him that is what is happening normally that is what is normal in vain now seemed that a splendid sacrifice that is what is representing man why he suffers the deep pure divine intolerance he can't penetrate the assail of the ether and power, fire, he can't tolerate. For that actually he wants to get rid of. Rejected the undying rupture's boon. Again we have gone forward a little bit and analyzing the th things that has been explained. Um, Jesus on himself, that single great sentence I want to quote before you. I have come to cast fire on the earth and how uh, I wish that it were already kindled and the final word you can remember they don't know lord they don't know father they don't know what they are doing and excuse them they don't know what the fault they are actually committing they don't know excuse them in jesus own language i have come to cast fire on the earth and how shall i how wish and i wish that it we are already kindled that is what and finally we are going to the to conclude with the mother's voice, mother's languages, the invocation mother we have seen. In the history of the human life upon earth, each time that the help has been sent to hasten the evolution, sent has been the help has been sent to hasten the process of evolution. It has been received in that way. That way, your mother course. But each time the effort and the help are bigger, each time some greater help, some greater, uh, you know, uh, effort is there, uh, higher, truer, and each time a little work, some result is achieved. Now, one the first time he is coming, second time with greater effort, greater, uh, you know, truer and greater effort than the in first time. And step by step, the world grows towards its realization. World can't sit quietly as the human being escapes or tries to leave its um, live where they are. But evolution can't stop. Even if it is a small, it is a slow process. It has to go on. That realization is bound to bound to come. The world grows towards its realization, maybe smoothly, smoothly, slowly. But it is on the process. The evolution is a slow process. You know, the whole story has been shown under a symbolic form in a symbolic story. Symbolic form and a symbolic story, it has been sketched, written. And uh, it is that Sri Aurobindo gives in Savitri. That's what uh, it is written. 
that great line you have uh, seen Sri Aurobindo has uh, that particular line I want to quote before you um, the cross they are payment for the crown they gave they give everything but they are crossed somebody is crossed somebody is poisoned somebody is thrown to death somebody is burnt alive how long this world will be or this earth will be ready to receive your saints that is what the last word of the saints were here also Galileo was not afraid of Sherlock, you know, um, yeah, that uh, great thing happened. Uh, he was poisoned, poisoned. And uh, here also Mansur, thrown to death. This is also it is happening. Here also we have seen the so many long stories. Jesu Christ, whom per, about the day, the very day we are celebrating right now, we have seen, he is crucified in the street of Jerusalem. Great story, great event, great message to the world, so that this world will be able to at least analyze itself, at least try to come up to that, that height, that zenith, from where he, that they have been, they have fallen down. And not to that height, not, to, not only to touch that height, they will also come up. And for that, actually, these days are very memorable days, memorable events to remember, and with this inspiration, with this guidance, and with this uh, inspiration, we have to move to the top. That is the story of the day. Anyway, today, once again, I wish Merry Xmas, Happy Christmas, Subha Bada Din, Dhanyabad, Pranam.